I'm Andrew with Baker's Gas. We're here again today with the uh, all-new Hypertherm 65 sink. So today in this video, we're going to go over. Uh, I'm going I'm to cut with the machine. Uh, we're going to get it hooked up. I'm going to go through two different sets of consumables, try them out. We're going to dry just drag shields and then flush cut today. Um, but we're going to get this thing set up. So let's get it out there. I'll get it plugged in and uh, show a couple of the things its capabilities off. All right, so we got it all set up here. What I got in the got in the torch here. I got. A, uh, sink consumable, 45 amp drag cut consumable. Um, so I just swapped it out. I locked my torch. I'm going to turn it back on here. Um, and then I'm just going to tap the trigger. I'm going to verify. So we got a green light. Now we know what the machine knows what torch consumable we got. Let's give this thing a shot. I mean, those consumables, I, for being a one piece, that's, that's a beautiful thing. I really like that. Now, we just, we got a piece of half inch plate here. Probably could have used a 65 amp consumable. That's okay. It would cut pretty darn good there. Um, let me, uh, let me swap it out here. I got a flush cut and uh, we're going to cut off some bolt heads here. So I just lock the torch out. Light turns yellow. One thread off. When I swap my consumable out, I'm going to unlock my trigger, I'm going to tap my, so it recognizes the consumable, We've got a green light, um, 65 amp flush cut, so the machine automatically recognizes that I have a flush cut consumable in there. Um, so let's get this in the shot. Flush cut that bolt end off pretty pretty good. Now we're on a piece of aluminum plate. So you gotta probably tap that bolt head out of there, but you can see it did the job pretty easy. And pulled it right out. Now let's flip this over though real quick. I'm gonna show you what it does on the bolt head side of things. So this one is that's a little bit warm. We'll get it out of there. Let's try it just on the bolt head. Here. Now we cut the back end and, and the front end off on a bolt. Pretty cool, then flush cut. We didn't even get into the material, the base material at all. So you can see on the back side, of that. didn't even get into the base material, flush cut that bolt right off. That's the beauty of them flush cut consumables. I'm, I'd recommend that to, I mean, just for some simple job, even on an auto body repair or something along those lines. Boy, that's, that's really nice and handy to have that consumable. Plus, in this new sink system, it's a one piece. If anybody has these or they remember the old consumables, boy, to piece that all together, it was it wasn't bad once you did it a couple of times, but right out of the gate it was you kinda which piece goes where, how it works, everything like that. But it really slick to use. I'm gonna lock this out again. We're gonna try cutting a piece of aluminum. We're gonna swap out consumables. Unlock the torch tap the trigger. Now we've got a green light, we're good. Now the, the machine automatically changed. Notice we've got a drag cut consumable in there. Let's cut this piece of wood. Not a bad cut for that. It really plays right through it. That's a, that's a beautiful thing. I really like that. Got my guard on there too, the hypertherm cells, but that's really nice. 25 foot fully leather with Velcro too. And it really keeps from, you know, when you're dragging on the edge or on the floor or anything like that, it really keeps it protected. Uh, sweet little torches. Well, let's let's walk back inside and we'll we'll hook these up to the app and see how much cut time each one of them has, and I'll show you how that works too. All right, so we got done cutting there, and that thing was pretty impressive. Um, got the machine back on here. What I wanted to show you, what you couldn't see outside was when we thread these in that the amperages change. So let me put the flush cut back in there and we'll show you on the machine itself. You can see it switched to 65 amps because I just put a 65 amp flush cut consumable in and it just shows that 
this is a 65 m it recognizes it because that's the new thing with this the whole thing about sync is we put the sync consumable in it talks to the the smart sync torch and it, we can tell what consumables in there now i'll put the drag shield back in and you can see flips back to 45 amps because i put a 45 amp drag shield in there pretty pretty awesome i mean the the you know the biggest thing that we're getting right now is that everybody's saying that these are uh, expensive which they are per unit price wise they're expensive but if you break it down and compare it to the old duramax torch consumables uh, it's about the same if you line up all the consumables price each one of them out individually compared to just one of these um, and then these things have more technology in them that we can now hook it to an app and i'm going to show you that here shortly anyways and between the time of switching all these i mean you saw how quick it was when i was cutting between switching from flush cut to regular drag cut it was a matter of seconds and i could nip off bolt heads and then put a drag cut back in there and cut something out it's a beautiful thing i mean it really is um all right let's try this thing i'll show you guys how to sync it to the app on the phone and uh i'll show you what shows up on that all right so we're going to grab our cartridge reader and our cartridge so the cartridge reader uh, you do need this. The app is free, but the cartridge reader we sell, we'll link that down below. But which, all you do is put it in the back, hit tap to scan, and get the cartridge close by. Oh, sorry. Start scan, okay. And then hit cancel, it popped up. It's going to pop us into the thing. So, August 2nd, last time used, 246, that's, when, that's us cartridge use data so pilot arc starts six arc transfers four 67 or 66 percent transfer rate pretty awesome pilot arc time transfer time arc on time um tells you everything end of life fault no so we're still good tells you any kind of fault codes that show up that might show up if something fails in the cartridge or something's going bad last use setting used on a 65 amp sink last current amperage 65 because it's a and then the uh last pressure 68 uh, in last operating mode so pretty awesome i like it because then now we can tell if we do get a fault code what was the fault code i mean it's it's instant gratification right we can tell something went wrong what went wrong we can do it all with this app and the reader um how oh, oh, this machine come really well i i i do like the sync system um, I know we've been getting some resistance because of the consumables and why do I got to buy, why can't I buy them individually now? Well, I'm telling you, this is going to be a simpler system for uh, your guys' you know, cutting world, I do believe. I mean, you saw how fast I was flip-flopping between consumables. Um, just amazing how quick it was. Instead of me sitting there fumbling five pieces, and even with the flush cut, as you guys recall, I was telling you out there, even getting that all together on the Duramax consumables was kind of a bear to get it all together. So pretty awesome thing. So if you got any questions, comments, link them below. We'll do our best to answer them. And uh, thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for some more videos.